What's up Mopar fam? I hope everybody's having a blessed day out there. Today's video we're going to be putting together something awesome and it's huge. We had a new product sent to us from Gardasol. It's a 10 by 20 car shed or portable carport, whatever you want to call it, or portable garage. But anyway, as most of you guys know, I keep frostbite under a cover uh, because where we live currently we don't have a garage anymore um, so for the time being we got this awesome product right here in this huge box 136 pounds it says it's a 10 by 20 heavy duty portable garage that has a roll-up door and windows in it which is pretty cool so we are going to put that thing together real quick and get rid of the tarp which will make my life a little easier having to take that thing off and on all the time we'll basically have a little outside portable garage until we move into a different house. Hopefully pretty soon, maybe by the end of the year, we'll see how it goes, but let's start the video. Let's get this thing assembled. It shouldn't be too bad to put together, so we're gonna get into it. Let's go. All right, Mopar fam, as you can see, we have the entire uh, A-frame assembly, or the roof you would call it, the top to the instant garage, fully assembled, very, very easy. Um, I've had some of these things kind of similar to this in the past, and this one so far, honestly, this is by far the easiest one. It literally is all snap together, uh, no hardware, no nuts and bolts. It is all snap together poles, which I really like. Um, it's got these little spring loaded buttons that just snaps in um, for every single connection point on the frame assembly. That's really dope. Um, I had one of these things back in the day. It was another brand and it was I think like a 15, a 15 by 20 that I used for a bass boat a um, long time ago. And it had nuts and bolts for every single connection point on the poles. And it literally took like forever to get that thing assembled um, just because there's so many bolts and nuts and just so much hardware, it was, it was insane, it took forever. Me and my son just literally put this entire top to the structure together in like 10 minutes, super, super quick. So we're gonna continue on and get the rest of it uh, put together. Now we gotta start working on the uh, the poles that goes down towards the bottom of the structure. And of course, get all the covers and tarps and everything on it. So here we go.
right Mopar fam as you can see we have the new 10 by 20 portable garage all assembled for frostbite and again the brand of this thing is the Gardasol we'll have the link in the video description below so if you're interested in it go to the video description link will be right there take you right to the Amazon store now we're gonna go around the garage a little bit so I can show it to you a little bit better and uh, all of its features so let's get to it all right so obviously we have frostbite in the garage this is a 10 by 20. i have a regular cab truck as you guys know and i have plenty enough room on both sides of the truck to walk around it still have a little bit of room here um, so this would be plenty big enough for i would say even an extended cab truck or a four-door pickup truck or any car for that matter uh, you can see the roof line definitely high enough uh, even for a lifted vehicle both of the front and rear section uh, both has zipper doors that roll up so you can use both both ends of the garage as an entry point or an exit point um, so if you had it in you know say one spot you could have both doors open and actually drive right through it and out the other end that's pretty neat uh, both sides of the garage has roll up velcro windows with screen um, so there's actually a screen material behind them so you can roll these up um, and have some airflow through the garage if you need it on both sides as you can see we have both sides open and you can see right through this side of the garage um, super super easy installation this thing literally took no time to put together me my kids my buddy out here got it done um, and how we're going to anchor it because i'm going to leave it on the concrete driveway um, each leg there's eight legs there's a uh, has a metal foot down here with pre-drilled holes on both sides i'm about to run to home depot and we are going to lag bolt or lag screw them into the driveway um, so i'm just going to run a lag screw right into the concrete um, for each leg to hold it down that way it don't blow out or take flight if we have a storm which don't know if you heard that but we got some thunder in the background so i'm gonna try to hurry this process up and get it mounted down before it turns into a airplane here in a minute <laughs> but that's it guys so pretty cool I'm definitely stoked about it. It's going to make my life a lot easier not having to deal with a car cover all the time. Um, plus, frostbite is going to stay completely dry now. And it's nice and covered. And the other cool thing about this thing, me and my son was thinking, this could be a pretty neat little portable paint booth um, set up. You know, we've been painting some parts on his truck. So we might even try to incorporate it into uh, some of our little paint projects here. Um, so stay tuned for that. So as always, guys, stay safe out there. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Put a comment down there below what you think of the portable garage. And we'll see you guys on the next one.